Dangerous Moonlight US, Suicide Squadron, is a 1941 British film, directed by Brian Desmond Hurst and starring Anton Walbrook. Among the costumes, the gowns were designed by Cecil Beaton. The film is best known for its score written by Richard Adensel, orchestrated by Roy Douglas, which includes the Warsaw Concerto. The film's love story plot, told mainly in flashbacks, revolves around the fictional composer of the Warsaw Concerto, a piano virtuoso and shell-shocked combat pilot, who meets an American war correspondent in Warsaw, and later returns from America to join the RAF in England to continue to fight against the Germans and their occupation of Poland. Topic. Plot. During the German invasion of Poland, Polish airman and piano virtuoso Stefan Radetzky Anton Walbrook meets American reporter Carol Peters Sally Gray. He volunteers to fly a «suicide mission» against Germany, but is not selected. Radetzky is among the last to escape Warsaw and months later, in New York, he and Carol meet again, and marry. In England, Radetzky gives a public concert and reveals that he has come back to fight, volunteering to fly as a pilot in a Polish squadron, fighting in the Battle of Britain, even though Carol fears he will be killed. His final mission ends with his self-sacrifice by crashing into a German aircraft. He is badly injured in the crash and suffers from amnesia. Later, Radetzky is in a London hospital, recovering from his injuries. He begins to remember his past, recalling composing the Warsaw Concerto, while the Germans bomb the city, and when he first met his wife. Sitting at the piano, Radetzky sees Carol and says, Carol, it's not safe to go out with you when the moon is so bright, repeating the first words he ever spoke to her. Topic. Cast Topic. Production Dangerous Moonlight was produced by the British unit of RKO, which financed it. Since music was such a key element in the film, Walbrook, who was an accomplished amateur pianist, is seen playing in the film, although the music on the soundtrack is played by the professional pianist Louis Kentner. Kentner's involvement was initially uncredited, as he thought that being seen to be playing film music would not help his career. He changed his mind on seeing the film's success. Aerial scenes were actually filmed in combat and feature the number 74 squadron squadron lettering ZP Supermarine Spitfire fighters that flew in the Battle of Britain. Topic Reception Released initially in the UK as Dangerous Moonlight, it was a box office success in Great Britain, although contemporary reviews were generally unfavorable. The New York Times Review described it as principally, "...a sentimental fable in which the excellent Anton Walbrook, so eloquent as the Hutterite leader in The Invaders, and Sally Gray make a listless and anemic pair of lovers." Derek de Marnie does much better by the roguish character of an Irish daredevil. None of them has lifted the film above the level of a hackneyed fiction." Dangerous Moonlight was a melange of art and warfare, with the best-remembered scenes involving the Warsaw Concerto, composed by Richard Adensel, one of the most beloved classical pieces that emerged from the period. Walbrook was not pleased with his performance and considered the film his least favorite. When released in the United States, the film was renamed Suicide Squadron in a cut 83-minute version, and distributed by Republic Pictures under lease, although its UK release was through RKO Radio British. 
Despite relying heavily on its film music, Variety noted that the sound quality was noticeably poor, especially in early scenes, although the aerial sequences, however, were particularly effective. In a modern appraisal, Leonard Maltin commented that Dangerous Moonlight was an intelligently presented account of concert pianist who becomes a member of a British fighter squadron during WW2. Musical interludes, including Richard Adensel's well known Warsaw Concerto, well handled. Look for Michael Rennie in a small role. Topic: <laughs> Books. Theirs is the glory. Arnhem, Hearst, and conflict on film takes Hearst's Battle of Arnhem epic as its centerpiece, and then chronicles Hearst's life and experiences during the First World War, and profiles each of his other nine films on conflict, including Dangerous Moonlight. <laughs> 